Crystal, what were you thinking in the hell were you thinking? Can't look like this attending Nairobi Fashion Week. This is a capital city of Kenya. Next, there is nothing delightful about you apart from the delightful poster that is behind you. You better bring it or this is gonna bring you to the chopping board. Hello everyone, this is yours truly Latoya Johnston XOXO Toy Toy Baby Kill It with Love hashtag Bungaloo.com. For those people who didn't know about Latoya Johnston, well, this is the day. <laughs> Latoya Johnston is a multi award winning individual who was named a fashion icon by the BBC in 2019. She's also a high profile celebrity fashion stylist, catwalk coach, runway choreographer, and backstage manager certified by the Kenya Fashion Awards and Miss Tourism Kenya. She has styled high profile celebrities including Susan Kaitani, Sonal Mahirali, Liz Ogumbo, Miss Universe Kenya, Roshanara Ibrahim, fashion model Pinky Gilani among many, many others. Let's travel all the way to the Nairobi Fashion Week at the Surrey Center to find out the glam and the glee and those people who brought it. The first look is impeccably well done piece, which is basically uh, brown done with gold. And as you know very well that gold and brown sit so well. But whenever I look at this lady, she reminds me of coming to America. If you could remember the lady who was asked to walk like a dog, woof, 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 woof. If that one passed you, darling, you're not my age. Um, she looks amazing. I love the cultural details that are running down. The neck piece was really impeccably done with an ensemble at the head. I love the little bag that is running away from all the brown and the dull colors. This girl nailed it. For that reason, I give her 9 out of 10. Girl, she nailed it. Because nobody gets 10 over 10 at the chopping board. Next patient. This is the legendary Susanna Owio who sang the Kisumu 100. This woman has sung for Oprah Winfrey, Nelson Mandela. Susanna Owio is actually rocking Olga Nato, who is a Kenyan designer based here in Kenya. The ensemble and the style is so rich and amazing. I love the fact that she went all black and put an African cover-up which is impeccably made and the head wrap which is basically more of something that she wore. It is velvet in color. Susanna Owio nailed it. I'm giving Susanna Owio 10 out of 10. <laughs> you wish, darling. Nobody gets 10 out of 10 in the chopping board unless it's so extraordinary. The person who's extraordinary here is me. Susanna Owio gets 9 out of 10. Next. There are things that are always happening behind the scenes. One of them are the people who are attending these scenes. This gentleman attended the show. He, he was just dressing okay. In this case, this is fashion. Please get me a drink. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a terrible affair. I'm going to be nice. I give him two. Let us move to the next one. And then thunderstruck. Dark glasses at night, the good print on the fabric. But simplicity is something that you take to primary school. Young lady, the only thing I love about you is that good bag and that good fabric color. At least I will say that you tried, but trials are the beginnings of failures. I am going to give you four. You almost reached a pass mark, you should be proud of yourself, but you can't look like this attending Nairobi Fashion Week. This is a capital city of Kenya. Next! I'm not quiet because something wrong is happening. I am quiet because I have to pray. May thy kingdom come. When you are standing inside the group and you still look like the employee who's really paid cheap, you are looking like an ensemble of a bad romance. For this reason, there is nothing delightful about you apart from the delightful poster that is behind you. Oh God, I think everything here failed. The company is looking good, but no. This girl, we need to chop her. Girl, I'm going to give you two out of 10. Next, 
sometimes the little things come in good packages. I always know a good thing whenever royalty is in front of us. I know this lady very well because I've seen her several times with Susan Kaitani and I think she must have really borrowed a leaf or two. The makeup is well done for the evening, which is really amazing. I love the fact that she's wearing glasses at night. The hair is really well done and it is falling back nicely. I love that the parting is razor sharp in the middle of her. So that one already giving her marks. I love the fact that she went out with the bold earrings that are giving her personality something that we call the jargon of style. The lady is not just standing out, she is standing out from the rest. And that trail, that trail is better than your education level. Let us give her 7.5. But let us just say that she did a wonderful job as compared to the lady who's standing next to her that is looking amazing. But sweetie, amazing is not the type that we are looking for here at the chopping board. You better bring it or it is gonna bring you to the chopping board. Cheers to that. Christelle, is that you? I see you, girl. Mm, I see you. So let us just go down. Crystal, what were you thinking in the hell were you thinking? Jesus Christ. I know very well that nowadays you're penetrating into the design world whereby this piece you made it all by yourself. But girl, did somebody tell you that when you are a powerful influencer who's worked with some top magazines that you need to bring your A game? The only thing that was a statement was your damn smile and your lashes. You can borrow a leaf or two from Olga Nato or Lisa Ogumbo. These are people who create power. There is no way you can put like a golden zip on a red piece. It, it does not. Everything is wrong. Girl, I'm going to give you the biggest call of the day. And that is 3 out of 10. And I mean from below. I need to start going to these events. Where's my fashion stylist? Whew. This is the chopping board with yours truly. Let Toya Johnstone XOXO Toy Toy Baby kill it with love. Hashtag Pungulu.com.